It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. I'm Marty Smith, ESPN. Greg, when a team builds a large points lead, why not coast? How much trouble can that get a team into to start kind of playing prevent defense instead of grabbing it by the throat and squeezing? Yeah, I mean, you know what happens is uh, um, the best thing to do is to do nothing different. You know, because the second you start trying to do something different is when you, you make mistakes. You know, when you, you know, start the race this way, you know, drive this way, drive that way or do whatever, you end up, uh, you know, where you're at on the track position for a reason and everything else. So if he starts, decides, oh, I'm going to coast a little bit this race, I'm just going to run 6th, 7th, 8th because I, I feel a little bit better here. And and, and the, the next thing you know, that guy in 4th uh, or 5th spins out and you're in, involved in the wreck. You know, and it's very easily, case could be made very easily. Dang it, if I'd have been, you know, running as hard as I could or like I like I normally am, I'd have been running third and wouldn't have been involved in that wreck. So the second you start changing your philosophy, your format, the way you approach every event, you can create yourself trouble, exactly what you're talking about. Okay, we've got David Pedley. David Poole, Sharp and Sharper. Is it possible that the chase and the championship and all of that has become too big of a deal in this sport? I mean, it, we start talking about the chase in Daytona in February, and, and we reach a point where we start tooling with the system every time somebody gets a lead. I mean, wouldn't it be nice? Mike Henry wrote a blog this week. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually thought about who wins races every once in a while? Has it has the chase got down a hand? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've, it's it's hard. We've created our own monster, and and you know, you that happens because of how important this becomes. I mean. And so you're right. You know, we, you know, look at the guys. I was unfortunately, uh, and ho hopefully that was it for my career outside of the chase twice, two years in a row. And um, you know, we're really not talking about those guys, and and we're really not talking about them on the TV broadcast. We're really not talking about them in the paper. How how they're running. Um, they re we're really looking, wondering. You know who's going to catch Jimmy Johnson is the story every week, and that that is good in a way and bad in a way. Well, where it's bad in a way is is all those sponsors that aren't in the, and all those drivers that aren't in the, uh, um, chase are not necessarily getting a fair shot at, at coverage and that and that's why they're in this sport. So I've been on the outside for a couple of years and that's when I said, uh, if you're not in the chase, you're nobody. And a couple of years ago, and they kept asking me about it, and and that's the way I feel about it. You got to make the chase in order, in this sport to be one of the ten guys that that are going to be a, you know talked about and and remembered, you know, with all the uh, the things that go on. So, but I think you could say that with anything, you know, who's going to make the Super Bowl? You know, I mean, you know, it's the it's the same thing when you get down to any kind of playoffs. You know, who's going to be in the World Series games? Who's who's going to do whatever? That's the emphasis, you know, is, is uh, because we're going to crown a champion. Uh, Jim Pelley with the Kansas City Star. Greg, heading into the chase, Kyle Busch had what looked like to, to be an invincible lead, but then he had three straight races in a row where he didn't finish and had engine problems, stuff like that. Does that give you hope over these next three races that, that Jimmy may fall apart? Yeah, I mean, uh, exactly right. I mean, they, they're going to have to scratch the name off his tro off the trophy. You know, they'd already given it out to him prior to the chase start. And I think everybody, a lot of people in this room can agree, you know, that, uh, you know, we we were thinking about what it was going to be like. And uh, so you're right. I mean, definitely the wheels can fall off that 48 in a hurry. We've seen it happen. And uh, maybe uh, maybe you get comfortable you know, um, and and kind of relaxed and, and stuff jumps out and bites you. That that can happen, uh, absolutely. And that's why we're not going to walk away with our tail between our legs yet. You know, after Phoenix, and he has enough margin that to clinch the title, well, then, then we will walk away with our tail between our legs. But until then, we're not, we're not going to. 
Greg, Don Coble with Morris News Service. Um, last two years when you were out of Chase, how much uh, time did you, did your team spend preparing for the next year using the, the Chase as uh, dress rehearsal? And now that you're in the Chase, does it, does it take away from your preparation for 2009? I think so a little bit, uh, Don. It's uh, definitely you're focused on right now. You know, we're not thinking about Daytona. We're not thinking about any of the other uh, things. We're not trying anything, you know, out of the ordinary, so to speak. So, um, you, you know, what's different about last year than this year is last year we're working on the old car right through these races instead of the new car. So that had something to, you know, do with it. But, uh I think there can be some advantage to some teams that aren't um, aren't in the chase and that are locked in the top 35. It gives them a little freedom to uh, to search around and, and try some things to get their uh, program better, definitely. We'll finish up with Mike. Yeah, great. Mike Mullen with Winston-Salem Journal. Dale Earnhardt won a lot of championships with a car and a team that was not the best car, not the best team, because he got those guys rattled. Why don't you guys try to rattle Jimmy Johnson somehow? Why don't you, like, roll a tire in front of him and get him off his game? You're just sitting there trying to make a better car than he's got. Get him off his game. This is not golf. This is not tennis. Do something. I know. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, the unfortunate part is we've given him the first pit box three weeks in a row, which uh, he'll probably qualify on the pole here to uh, put it all in our face. But as uh, soon as I can get my car close enough to his car, I will rattle his cage. I got to get there first. Thank you, Greg. I Good haven't luck. been able to catch it. <laughs>